how do you make six figures as a software engineer in Europe? This might sound hard uh, for some, but it's actually very doable. And uh, today's videos will be about that. Uh, I'm Nicola Madio. I'm a software engineer based in Zurich. Um, I have over 10 years of experience uh, studying and working in Europe throughout uh, various countries. Um, I was born in Italy, then I moved to Germany, then uh, back to Italy, then to Spain, then to Switzerland. And I've also been traveling uh, extensively in uh, the Central Europe region, including Poland, Romania, Serbia, and so on. And um, in the last year, I've also started creating content um, on LinkedIn. I publish uh, every day uh, some useful tips on tech careers in Europe. And in the last year, I've uh, gained almost 40,000 followers there. Uh, people find uh, things that I share valuable, apparently. And uh, I've also grown my newsletter, The European Engineer, TheEuropeanEngineer.com, uh, from zero to 10,000 free subscribers in uh, just over a year. Um, and in today's videos, I want to kind of um, start uh, maybe like share this a little bit of this content on YouTube as well, um, maybe to touch on a different audience and uh, also to demo a little bit uh, a tool that I've been building over the past six months that should help um, software engineers in Europe uh, land, um, you know, good roles um, in engineering in Europe, not just software engineers, but also machine learning engineer, data scientist, uh, solution consultant, basically anyone working in tech, in engineering for software companies or software projects. All right. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about, uh, while uh, this video is probably going to be called something like uh, 100K or six figure, um, the first thing we need to understand in Europe is that salary is just one of the metrics that actually are relevant uh, with regards to uh, an appeal of a job. Uh, actually, what we care about is not just salary, but it's the saving rate and the purchasing power. So the saving rate is how much money uh, do we manage to save each year? Like how fast are we growing our wealth? And uh, the other variable is what lifestyle do we have while doing so? Are we living frugally? Are we spending a lot of money? Like, do we eat out? Do we don't? So do we have a good purchasing power or not? These are the two metrics that uh, actually matter here. And um, well, um, these two metrics are influenced by three parameters. One is the salary, but what are the other two? The other two are uh, cost of living and taxes. Uh, and these also matter quite a lot, uh, as we will see. Um, so the first one, salary, what does it depend on? This is an easy one, right? Salary depends on companies and location. Some companies pay more, you know, the big tech companies uh, infamously pay more. Other companies as well pay very good salaries. We'll get into that. Um, and some locations pay more as well. For example, Switzerland is the top paying location uh, with the company being equal uh, in Europe, uh, for example. And um, yes, and other companies, small, maybe local startups, an Italian company, you know, will pay you very little salary. So location and company, they influence how much you get paid. And um, salary, cost of living and taxes influence uh, how much you can save and uh, what lifestyle do you have? Good. Um, which leads, this leads us to um, the tool that I want to talk about, which is called Eurotop Tech Jobs. Uh, you can find it at eurotoptechjobs.com. And uh, it's basically a job board, but on steroids and uh, laser focused uh, on a specific goal, helping software engineers find uh, top roles uh, in Europe. Um, software engineers, machine learning engineers, and so on. And um, this job board, I will quickly do a demo now, so you can see if you like. All right, guys, so here we are um, on the job board. This is the product, Eurotop Tech Jobs. And uh, let me show you how it works. Um, let me remove my ugly face. Uh, here is the job board. So you have a lot of jobs, um, over 4,000, 4,500, I think, in this update. It's regularly updated multiple times per week. And um, it's basically top jobs from top companies uh, in engineering, as you can see here. Uh, it can be like, uh, you know, different types it can be machine learning, data science, solution engineering, software engineering, backend. This is more or less the type of job you don't have product management or product, uh, whatever roles uh, or designer roles, mostly engineering roles for IT companies. Um, what do you get? You get uh, the role that you can uh, click and apply to. You have the company, you have the location, uh, you have the workplace type. This can be, for example, hybrid, on-site or remote. Remote here is country remote. If you want to learn uh, about fully remote roles, um, Stay tuned, like I will uh, talk about it later on in the video. That's also here in the job board, but not in this page. Uh, this is mostly country remote. Then you have job freshness, meaning when I added the roles, if it is a new role or not, uh, or an older role. And uh, seniority, there are a few seniority levels in the engineering ladder. If you are an engineering manager, you also have jobs here, but you just have to um, manually translate. So if you are an engineering manager, you will be like between senior and staff. Um, and if you are a senior engineering manager, you're probably staff or senior staff or principal. Principal. If you are a director of engineering, it's more like principal. So something like this. And um, 
what else? Total comp estimate and saving rates estimate. Total comp, as I explained, this is uh, the salary plus stocks plus bonus you should get in this job, more or less. It's an estimate based on various sources. And um, yes, it's mostly dependent on location and uh, uh, seniority at this point. It's not super fine grained in the sense that for now I'm kind of putting uh, all these companies in a bucket with similar salary ranges. And uh, that's the estimate. In the future, I will make it more fine grained uh, depending on, you know, like, I don't know, companies that pay a bit more like... Um, yeah, like Revolut, for example, is here, and uh, I put it as uh, same paying as Snowflake, although it pays a little bit less, uh, depending on the location and so on. And saving rate is uh, the other variable. This is the amount you should be able to save from your total comp, depending on your lifestyle. So if you have a frugal lifestyle, of course, you save more. If you have a luxurious lifestyle, you save less. Good. Um, frugal means you're living like a student. Comfortable means you live uh, as a single person with a comfortable lifestyle. You have a large enough flat. You go out uh, for drinks, for food. You do travel, things like this. Luxurious means basically like comfortable with a family. Uh, so you have a comfortable life providing for a family or you are single, but you are bowling kind of, I don't know, maybe you have vices or things like this. Um, that's kind of how to frame this. You can also sort here by total comp. You know, you can sort by saving rate as well. And uh, there are some missing gaps here, like, uh, for example, in some cases, you don't have the saving rate. Like, I don't know if you're in South Africa, I don't have the saving rate for that location. But with time, I plan to add everything uh, there. Um, OK, so what do we want to do now? What I want to do now is show you the filters. You have a lot of countries in EMEA, not just Europe or you, but you also have for example, Dubai or Egypt uh, or EMEA remote um, and something like that. You have a lot of countries, Ukraine. Companies, mostly high paying companies, it's so mostly big tech, but not just big tech, it can also be smaller companies that pay a lot, uh, for example, Etsy, or you have also high, uh, high frequency trading companies like Flow Traders, G Research, or you have smaller but high paying companies like GitLab or GitHub, uh, and so on. ANSI Trading, another uh, high frequency trading job. Cool. See this bunch of cities in EMEA. And uh, job freshness, when was the job added, and uh, workplace type and seniority, as you have seen. Let's say now, let's go through a couple of use cases. Let's say you are a software engineer in Poland, okay? So you want to work in Poland. Let's select Poland here. And you want a remote job. So we select remote. This is country remote. You can work from Poland, wherever you want in Poland. Cool. What are the jobs? So you have Atlassian, Revolut. Junior, for example, front end, back end. Atlassian is very active at hiring remotely in Poland, one of the best companies to work remotely in Poland. Not the only one. Also, Revolut hires a lot. Uh, Nvidia also offers remote jobs in Poland. Uh, Oracle as well, and so on. And here you can see, you know, like uh, how much you should be able to save uh, or make for the role, for the seniority. As you can see, like I was mentioning in the first video, you need to be in Switzerland. Did you? Do you need to be in the US? Do you? In the end, here as a senior data scientist for Revolut in Poland, you can make uh, six figures, save more than 50K per year. That's a pretty good deal to me. As a junior engineer for Atlassian, you can save up uh, 36, uh, living a comfortable lifestyle. That's crazy, in my opinion. You know, so you don't need to be in Switzerland, basically, or in the US. Uh, of course, if you live in Switzerland, you can save more. But if you want to, one thing you can notice is that if you live a luxurious lifestyle, uh, some paying, some uh, lower paying location might offer you better saving rates than higher paying location with the same lifestyle. Anyway, this is all things you can play around once you use uh, the job board. Let's say now, for example, let's reset the filters and let's say you want to work in uh, Spain. And you're okay also with working uh, on-site jobs, but you are senior. So people say you cannot make a lot of money in Spain, right, as a developer. But let's say you are a senior. Actually, let's say you are just principal staff and senior staff engineer in Spain. How much money can you make? How many roles do you have? Well, you can make a lot of money, as you can see here. You can make even 350 as a principal, for example, working in Salesforce in this role. Or you can easily make 170K. Pretty much, I think, if you are a staff engineer, that's the minimum amount you will make in Spain as a software engineer. Staff software engineer, Datadog, you can make 170K. You don't save a whole lot because Spain fucks you up with taxes a little bit. But still, you know, you can make money in Spain. There are several companies, Datadog, New Relic, Amazon, Affirm, and, uh, and so on. So this was just um, uh, a quick demo. Now... What if you want a job that is remote, but not country remote, but fully remote, then you can go here to remote companies and you have a big list, I'll not show all of it, but um, yeah, it's a big list of companies that uh, pay six figure salaries for fully remote roles from Europe. I manually select these companies to put them in the job board and verify that they're legit, that they're good companies, that they pay actually the salaries. The range that I add is broad because, uh, you know, it varies across uh, Seniority. If you're a junior engineer, you will make less than if someone who is a senior engineering manager, right? So that's why there is quite a big range. Uh, in the future, as this gets as this list gets bigger, I will also uh, add the specific uh, jobs, like the same as you have here, 
uh, also for these other companies. But for now, I like to just leave the companies here. Then you can just go to their career page and uh, find uh, the role there, you know, and uh, and apply. And it also gives the advantage that even if you are uh, a designer or a product manager, you can still find value in this product because you can go to this list and find these companies and check uh, their remote role for for uh, their remote jobs for your um, profession. Let's say one last piece of the puzzle is this private guys that I built. And um, I have a coaching program, which I will not uh, talk about in this video, but I have a coaching program where I work one-on-one -on -one with people to help them uh, improve their career as software engineers or machine learning engineers, whatnot, in Europe. And um, then I try kind of to condense the things that are, are quite recurring in this coaching program and create some guides um, that I can share with the subscribers of the job board uh, in order to help them uh, land these jobs, okay? And so far, I shared three guides, one on your CV, one on your LinkedIn, and one on how to strategically plan uh, your job search and career, how to find the companies that are a good fit for you, how to find roles that are a good fit for you. And uh, this should also help you land these jobs. Now, um, that's a lot of stuff. In my opinion, the job board right now is only priced at nine euro per month or 75 euros per year. And uh, as I add more features, which I add quite frequently, so when you're watching this video, maybe it's actually updated and there are new, uh, new things uh, in the job board or in the guides. Um, well, after a while that I've had new feature and that I improve the product, I will raise the price. Makes sense. And um, the people who are already subscribed, they will uh, grandfather their price. They will not see an increase in price. So if this sounds to you like an interesting project, if you believe in it, you can just join now and keep your low price as the product improves. And um, yeah, you can also go to the landing page and check some testimonial from uh, other people who like the job board. You can see how they found it useful. And otherwise, you can follow me on LinkedIn where I daily post content uh, for uh, tech workers in Europe. Uh, and uh, check out my newsletter, europeanengineer.com. We are over 10,000 there, and uh, it might be useful for you too. I don't know how often I will post uh, here on uh, YouTube. Maybe never again. Um, let's see. So if you're curious and want more new stuff or want to check old content, check out my newsletter and LinkedIn. Uh, if you want to stay up to date, if I, in case I post new videos, subscribe to the channel. And if you're curious about the job board, go to eurototechjobs.com and uh, see the testimonial. Check it out for yourself. You can try it out in just nine euros. And I'll see you next time. Peace.